An accomplished actor, producer and director, Forrest Stephen Whitaker learned about hard work from a young age. His mother put herself through college and earned two master's degrees, all whilst raising her family. A fair physical unit at school, Whitaker was a star quarterback and was given a scholarship to play at California State Polytechnic University. As a kid growing up here in Los Angeles, uh, there was no chance for me to go to college uh, and no chance for me to be where I am without having had scholarships. I went to school first, originally not an entertainment scholarship but a football scholarship just to get into college. Whitaker's promising sporting career was cut short by a serious back injury and he transferred to the University of Southern California where he majored in music and drama. Then I got a music scholarship and got an acting scholarship and for the rest of the time I was there, was, that's what I did. I moved to the drama studio in London for summer. I wanted to continue to go there. I didn't have the money and they gave me the they created a scholarship because it was the only thing I could do, was just work hard and, and um, I, I wouldn't be standing here. I wouldn't be talking to you right now if, if, if it weren't for those things. You may not know that Forrest actually trained as an operatic tenor. Audiences were treated to a glimpse of his incredible singing talent when he hosted Saturday Night Live back in 2007. So would he ever consider putting his acting career on hold to focus on music? No, I can't do it anymore. You know, when you get out of practice, you lose it. You know, you gotta like keep working on it, keep working on it. No stranger to hard work, it didn't take long for Forrest Talents to be noticed. And while at college, he was approached by two agents eager to represent him. I think sometimes I was working before I was ready to work. I mean, I started working when I was in, right, in college right away. And uh, I wasn't sure if I was good enough. And then, then later, um, I, I, it was like trying to make a part out of something that wasn't there, you know, you'd like look on the page and you try to create something, you know, hopefully special. A seasoned stage veteran by 21, the baby-faced Whitaker appeared in his first film, Fast Times at Ridgemont High, coincidentally as a football player. The versatile actor then went on to appear in several acclaimed films throughout the 1980s, including Platoon, Good Morning Vietnam and The Colour of Money. Then he was selected by director Clint Eastwood for the role of drug-addicted jazz great Charlie Bird Parker in Bird. But sometimes when you play like characters that are drug addicts and waking up with that kind of energy every day, that's, that's kind of tough. You know, because uh, there are characters that didn't want to live. You know, those characters were tough to live with. You wake up in the morning and you think, you know, I, I don't feel like doing this. You know what I mean? But it was all worth it when he won the Best Actor Award at Cannes. Then, in 1992, he gained further fame for his role as a captured British soldier in The Crying Game. He went on to work steadily throughout the rest of the 90s in films of almost every possible genre. Whitaker then chose to step out of the spotlight and focus on directing. He surprised many by choosing to direct relatively unchallenging chick flicks. He made his feature directorial debut in 1995 with Waiting to Exhale and was also at the helm of Hope Floats, starring Sandra Bullock, and First Daughter. In fact, if First Daughter hadn't been given the go-ahead, we would have seen Forrest Whitaker in the TV show Lost, playing Sawyer. So why does he believe audiences love romantic movies? Because they want to feel and believe in love. You know, they want to, like, uh, smile and walk out feeling like there's hope. One of the great successes of his career came playing the grandstanding dictator Idi Amin in The Last King of Scotland. The 2006 film earned him numerous industry and critic awards, including the Golden Globe for Best Actor in a Drama and the Oscar for Best Actor. Playing a ruthless dictator proved to be very challenging. I would think it was, yeah, it was probably the most intense. Although I've played a lot of characters that took a lot of work and a lot of myself to play them. But uh, this one had so many different elements that I tried to master and understand. After such an acclaimed performance, it's hard to believe the film's director initially had reservations about casting him. We met and, and he said all these interesting things about the script and then I called him up and I said, look, and you know, I, I thought you were so fast to talk about it. I just, I just not sure if you've got the anger. And he said, I've got so much anger. <laughs> and he came in and he read and he was terrified. He was absolutely terrified. And I think it's, you know, people who are often on the exterior are very sweet and gentle or whatever. You know, there's a lot bubbling away inside there. And I think there's a side of him which obviously can, you know, 
find that kind of well of you know, anger in there somehow. It didn't take long for the film's producers to realise they'd made the right choice in casting him. His performance is phenomenal, seeing it on the rushes, you know, as I, as I was saying, he's capturing both the kind of the largeness of the character, um, the intensity, the anger, the danger. Um, there is a real range to this performance that, you know, I think is, is far higher than, you know, I think we'd expect it, it's fantastic. Um, I mean, he's put an enormous amount of work in. He came here uh, quite a bit before we were shooting and really wanted to kind of immerse himself into understanding what it was like to be Armin and to be Ugandan. I think that Forrest is such a wonderful and intelligent person. He must have taken months or years studying this script, reading everything about Idi Amin and really understanding the personality of Idi Amin, not what the media has brought out and what the media has been saying about him. So how did he go about finding a core of humanity inside a ruthless dictator? I, I went back to source. I was trying to, I, I went to talk to his brothers and his sisters and I tried to understand what happened when he was a kid, when he was working on a sugarcane plantation, when his dad left him and all these, once you start like figuring out all these different moments in his life, then, and you start covering them up with the darker things, sure, but you start off like with this little child who like you're like trying to figure out and you're making choices and you go along and slowly, slowly it gets covered up with all the monstrous things that people think about him. But in the beginning, he was just this little kid running around the, the Meta plantation trying to like pick sugarcane. And it wasn't just the lead character that appealed to Forrest. He was also attracted by the themes in the script. I think it, 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 it deals with friendship. Um, and what it is, you know, portrayal and what that means. And in its core, it deals with how we can all be corrupted by power. Whitaker then went on to star in Vantage Point, a film whose themes he was again keen to explore. Because I think it deals with some really primal things like saving a child, person trying to reclaim their life, an, uh, another person, his deep love for this woman, and um, how, how, her betrayal makes him betray her. Forrest is just as passionate about making movies as he is the simple things in life. I can just sit in a coffee shop and just be reading a book for hours and it could be some of the best time I've ever spent. In 1996, Whitaker married fellow actress Keisha Nash. They have two daughters, Sonnet and True. He also has a son named Ocean from a previous relationship and a stepdaughter named Autumn from a previous relationship of Keisha's. Family and ancestry are very important to him. I'm not going into it alone. I'm standing on people's shoulders that have went before me. I'm standing on people's shoulders that, that have like guided me to that position. And at times when I'm trying to figure it out, when I'm directing, when I'm acting and stuff, I just stand still and I listen. And I just hope that one of them is going to whisper in my ear. And so because they're always inspiring me, I feel like it's important for me to acknowledge them too. From a man who took up acting after an injury forced him from the sporting field, Forrest Whitaker has become one of the most respected and sought after actors in Hollywood, as well as an accomplished producer and director. Stay tuned to Star Picks for all the movies you know and the actors you love. Broadcast in glorious high definition with 5.1 surround sound where available. For more of the best in entertainment news, check out your movie network channels. It's all together better on screen and at mnc.tv.